the space over there on the output. Uh, and then you want to clear all because you want to start out with nothing. Uh, uh, okay. And so uh, the first thing you have, right, is uh, and now you use cells and problem number one. Mm -hmm. System function. System function, right? Uh, on the one, h of n equals two times one to the n. Okay, that's the problem. That's the impulse response. You want the system function. And what was the system function? Well, somewhere along the line, you uh, algebraically derive the system function, right? So you can either A, uh, display, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what do you want to display? Uh, you want to display what the system function was. Well, you figured that out uh, analytically, uh, and so you just write out what it was. What was it? Two divided by. 1 minus 0 0.5 z zero minus 1 so that displays that right that's a right now you got b right? and then sometimes after you do that right you want to display skips a lot. Alright. Mm -hmm. So here's the B part, right? B is different equation. Difference. Uh, B is different difference equation. E Q U A M agent. Uh, and we did that analytically. MATLAB can't help you out with that either. So that display <laughs> what do you have? Display what was the answer? Zero or something like that. Or identify it so you can tell what the heck it is when 
C, D, plus D. The output Y to the N. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Y to the N, uh, uh, we uh, determine that analytically by doing the algebra and inverting the uh, output. Uh, and so that's another case. Uh, and output, output. Sub n uh, f x sub n equals what's an equal uh, But there you have problem one. There's one A. There's the answer that you have for one A. What was that? H of Z was it? Oh yeah, it was H of Z. So we should actually write this thing as H of Z. Uh -huh. And then you go cell and you evaluate the first cell. Oh, another thing you can do too is uh, if you wish, uh, put CLC here. And, and every time you run it, it'll clear the thing and so you don't get a lot of junk over there. Cell and anyway, current cell and it clears the problem one, you have one A is that, one B is that, one C is this uh, figure, right? right? And that's that, okay? So that's going to be uh, included. Uh, and I guess uh, uh, one C shows up in there and one B. Uh, 
and so uh, there you have a cell, it's called problem one, and there you have the display. So when you see the output, when you get the output, there you have the answer. And they're sitting right there. And more than that is if you go over here and you, where is it here? Oh, I didn't see it. I want to save that as, what is this? over here and you do publish, you know, you go publish uh, and you see what, what happens, right? Uh, okay, now you have this file there, you have your name and all that stuff sitting here. Uh, So uh, what you do is, right, you go like this, and you get the contents uh, if you want to, and you, know, you copy, and then you go down here and start, and you go all programs, and you go to MS window, where is MS Microsoft Office, and then you go Microsoft Word. And then you go up and up and up and up and up and up. Uh, and then you file. Uh, That's not good. She can copy me. Why I copy? She can copy. copy. Did you copy this? I assume <laughs> so there it is in the document. And I don't know, might just, uh, I'm not working keen on that. Uh, and, and that font is kind of ridiculous. So much font. That's problem number one. You're given that to start, and there's your jump there. And if you want to leave the contents in there, you can. Uh, but anyhow, there's the there's the stuff, yeah. and here's the output, and that's too big, so you want to shrink that down, uh -huh. and then you want to go over here and size and position and text wrapping and make it through, and then you can move it up, uh -huh. and then you can move these things down. That be you want to be alone. Move over here. Okay. So now you have 1A, 1B, here's 1C, the full zero plot, and there's 1D, right? And then there's the next problem, 2 shows up after that. Right? So that's the MS document. So you want to do that when you're all done, because every time you run MATLAB and you change something and you publish it, you know, you get a new HTM file, which you have to copy and paste and monkey around with. So I'm just illustrating that, you know, this is what you end up with, right? And then, you can uh, insert and you can you can put in a cover page and you pick out some fancy cover page and, mm -hmm. and put your name and stuff on there. 
and now you have a cover page that says exam two and it has a date and it has your name and it looks uh, professional and that's always worth a few more points. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, you put that on there, right? And uh, you go through the you go through the MS document and you clean it up so it looks nice and so it's legible and it's readable when you when you look at it and you can see you can see the the code the codes there and you also have uh, you also have the codes output and the codes output are the answers to the problem, right? And some of the answers came came about uh, analytically from work it did, which will show up on your paper, your test paper, that stuff is there, it isn't absent, it's there, it's what your work you did. Uh, but you have this uh, document here that uh, has that information, and either, uh, you know, and you can clean it up and not make everything line up and make it real pretty. Uh, so either A, you generate this, and then when you get the answers, you can take your answers and write them on the test paper, um, where appropriate, where MATLAB gave you the help, or you do things analytically, and you, uh, you know, you say, when you, for the answer, you say, refer to the uh, PDF document, my PDF document, or whatever the heck you call this thing. You give it a name, and you, and you, uh, and, and, and that, that allows you to reference the, the work you did there with what you're using in MATLAB, because you have to, it's a combination of the two that you need to do in order to accomplish uh, what you're doing, right? So when you're done, you want, let me think of this, uh, save as, when you're done, you save it, uh, I don't know what you save it as, I don't know what you save it as. Online drive, computer, Just go to save as. Just save that. Yeah, save as. Save as. Just or, go save it. Save as this time. Browse. Browse. How do we use computers in general? Instead of Word doc, PDF. PDF. There you go. And it's not that you don't give it that. You give it your last name, which in my case would be uh, Johnson. Uh, Tom. I forgot there's a, some description there of how you're supposed to save an exam. Uh, uh, dot PDF, anyway. Uh, well, I guess it automatically is PDF. So anyhow, uh, you put it like that, right? You save it like that. Last name, first name, and your, and your ID. I guess you put some digits of your ID in case people have the same name, which in this case we do because we have so many people in the class. You have the same last names and first initials, so you don't be able to think that they need to visit your ID. Uh, and you just save it, right? And then you take that file and you put it in the Dropbox, right? And that file documents the work that's on the test paper, okay? Because it has the same information, but in this, in this case, you get to use MATLAB to, to do it, right? So you have problem number two. So, but that's when you're done. That's when you're all finished. You do that. You don't do it. Do problem one, one, and do that. Problem one, don't, don't do it that way. That doesn't get you anywhere. So, uh, and you don't need that anymore. Don't save. Don't need that. Uh, uh, that's HTM. I don't need that either. I uh, don't need that because I'm still right. Need the, the. But you can see once you get these things organized into these cells and do a publish it prints it out in a nice form that's easy to read and easy to take care of and it doesn't take that much trouble. So, two, uh, what was two? That was one, I don't know where two was. Two disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, two, we had A, B, and C. Uh, we had a, a difference equation. I'll do two of them. 